Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. I thought it was time i give you guys my final review of AMZ's 3D filament. We printed out a lot of really cool stuff, and I can't wait to share my final thoughts with you guys, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for my final review of AMZ's 3D filament. If you remember from the unboxing video, which you can watch here, we unboxed the AMZ filament that was sent to me by a June over at AMZ 3D Filament. And actually, Jimmy Shaw over at Jimmy Shaw Tidbits, he actually connected me with June so we could get this filament to test and review on the channel. Speaking of which, a full disclaimer, we were not paid in any way for our review, our opinion, or the testing of this filament. The only thing that was given to us is the filament itself. There was no money changing hands whatsoever. Now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the filament. As you guys saw in the unboxing video, the bend test and the clip test were very successful. It took a little bit of effort to bend the filament and break it. And when I used the cutters to cut the filament, it was a nice smooth cut. It wasn't brittle and it wasn't too soft. It was that perfect spot right in between. The next thing we did is we went ahead and started printing the filament. We also did a diameter test before we started printing, and the diameter that's listed on the box is 0.03 millimeter tolerance, and that is exactly what we got. It was good diameter tolerance for that filament. So we went over to Thingiverse and we grabbed the CaliCat, and that was our very first print with the AMZ's 3D filament. This is their lake blue color, and it turned out perfect. There were no problems with the print whatsoever. It's got a very rich, deep color, there were no problems with the extrusions, there were no problems with retraction, and it was a really clean, easy print. After that, we started printing out models during the month of October for our Halloween theme month. And as you can see, we printed out quite a lot of stuff. Some of the models actually turned out so good, I was way impressed with this filament. For example, the Trick or Treat sign, which is uh, themed after the Stranger Things show over on Netflix, that turned out amazing. I'm sure you guys seen a lot of these videos during the month of October, but I kind of want to review some of these prints again with you guys for the review of the AMZ 3D filament. This print turned out amazing. It is a very clean print. There are no problems whatsoever. We didn't have any stringing issues or layer skips, and it was a really long print because it's really, really big, and there's a lot of type involved, and there's a lot of thin walls, and it was really clean. And this is their red color. It's a really deep, rich red color. All the pigment and all the AMZ filament is super rich. It's a very, very deep color. For instance, when we printed out the Raven on the Skull model, which was one of our final prints for the month of October, that one turned out amazing. I mean, it is such a deep, rich color. The black actually prints down on the first layer. A lot of times you see it, it's somewhat translucent depending on your layer height. Not with this black. It's a really deep pigment. I really like it a lot. And of course, this print turned out amazing. You guys can watch the videos. I'll put a couple of cards up as we're doing the reviews. So you guys can go back and watch some of these prints if you haven't seen them yet. But this Raven print turned out perfect. I was super impressed. There was a ton of retraction going on on the base here because there's a little bit of a uh, rock texture on the base of the model. And there were no problems. The filament is at just the right softness so you won't have any retraction problems whatsoever. One of the other things we printed out was this giant candy skull bowl. And this model by Joff, and of course, all the models that we printed for the AMZ filament will be down in the description so you guys can check them all out yourself. But this model turned out awesome. This was one of our longest prints ever. It chewed up a lot of filament, but it was well worth it. There were absolutely no problems with this print at all. It's got a super clean finish to it. It's really, really smooth, and the filament just printed. It was really nice. Some of the other things we printed during the month of October was this really cool candy corn shooter. Now, I don't have any candy corn here to launch, but this was really good and it needed to be rigid to take the abuse of all the candy corn that we were shooting out of it. And it held up, there were no problems. Even the super glued area, because you remember, I did break this model, or I cracked it, I should say. Even the super glue was held up and I could still fire with it to this day. Some of the other things that we printed out was the really cool labyrinth key box. These printed out perfectly, there were no problems. These prints standing up and there were no issues whatsoever. The filament really, really is nice. This is that lake blue color again. It's a really rich color. I really like it a lot. Some of the other things we printed were the low polygon mask. That was a really good print because this print standing up over a long period of time. There were no problems with this whatsoever. It's a very consistent color. This is their light green or I believe lime green color. It's a really cool color. It really printed nicely. 
One of the last things I printed, which I did not show you guys on the channel, was this really cool low polygon Corvette model, Stingray model. And this was kind of a long print too. And it was one of the last things I printed because I really wanted to test out a long print. Plus I love those low polygon models, so I couldn't resist this Stingray model. And this print turned out amazing. And you'll see some close-ups of these and all the other models at the end. And of course you guys can go back and check out some of the videos of these actually printing over the month of October and see the results of the prints too. There's lots of photos up there. But this one you guys haven't seen. This is something I just wanted to print for myself. And it turned out amazing. This is a really cool color. It's, this is my little red Corvette. Obviously the tires were printed out in black separately and they just snap in with the snap pin uh, system that's usually put together by this particular model. And of course, link in the description for this one. And it was a really cool print. I love this random polygon look. The color is super consistent. Even in the areas where the model is really thin, it held up really nicely. There's a little bit of translucent to this particular filament, but not as much as other filaments I've used. So those are all the models that we printed during the month of October that really gave us a chance to experiment with the AMZ filament. And we literally had no problems whatsoever. And when it comes to printability with the AMZ 3D filament, this stuff really just prints like butter. I had no problems whatsoever. There is a bit of a wide temperature range if you look at the packaging or even on the spool itself. It says 180 to 210. And I was able to get perfect prints out at 201 degrees. I like to go one degree over whatever my temperature is that I want to set because there is some fluctuation going down and not up with my particular setup. So it's only one degree, so I always just go one degree extra. So 201 degrees was a perfect printing temperature for this AMZ filament. And I was able to use it on all the colors. There was no change in filament temperature at all, or extruder temperature, I should say, for any of the different filaments. Now I haven't printed with the wood filament. That's gonna be a separate review when I start testing exotic filaments at another time. But as far as the standard PLA goes, this stuff just prints. There were no problems whatsoever. Like I said in the, in, earlier in the review here, it goes down with a nice smooth first layer. The pigment is very deep, very consistent. The color you see on the roll is the color you get on your prints, which is very cool. I like to see that. When I choose a color, I wanna see it print that way. And this stuff has a lot of pigment in it. Like I said, the black especially, it's super deep and super rich. It's a very good color consistency throughout all the PLA that I tested for the AMZ 3D filament. The next thing I wanna talk about is price point. This AMZ filament actually ranks in there with the low cost filament, even though it's a very high quality fi printing filament. The price range over on Amazon is around $18 to $26, depending on the type of filament you wanna get. And recently they released some really cool silk filaments, which I've never seen before. And I've already seen print samples of those, and I definitely wanna try those out. But the price point is really good. Compared to some of the other filaments that are a little bit more expensive, I think that the AMZ filament stands proudly amongst all those other filaments at that price point and even higher. So it's a really good budget filament if you're looking for a sweet deal. Definitely check out their color selection. They have a ton of colors. They have PLA and ABS. Obviously they have exotic wood fills. They're releasing all kinds of new filament every day. And I actually have seen a color chart, if I can find it I'll put it up at the end of all the colors that they have available throughout the world, because they have some colors available overseas and some colors available in North America and both in both ways too. And you can see that they really do have a huge color selection. Of course, I'll put a link down in the description for, uh, for Amazon so you can just click over there and go take a look there too. So the, as far as price point goes, I think it's really affordable filament and it's definitely worth the dollar. If I could find one negative aspect about the AMZ filament, and it's actually a personal preference, it's actually not a negative about AMZ filament in general, and that's the spool holder. I would prefer that the spool holder be clear. I've seen quite a few manufacturers use the clear spool holders, and it is my understanding that that's actually a little bit more expensive for those because it is clear. But the AMZ filament does have a nice little window here so you can see when you're about to run out of filament, and that's a good trade-off. So this is a really good spool holder because it does have a couple of retainer areas on both sides of the spool, plus it has that little window so you know when you're gonna run out of filament. So that's a really good trade-off. Even though it's not clear, it's still a good spool holder. So my final thoughts are this for AMZ's 3D filament. For the low cost and wide range of colors in PLA, ABS, and exotics, this is some of the best filament you can get. When compared to other brands in a higher price range and in the same price range, this is some really great filament. It's got really great printability, deep rich colors, and it really just prints. 
and at that price range you really can't beat it and I highly recommend AMZ 3D filament for all your printing needs. Well that about wraps it up for my full review of AMZ's 3D filament. I really want to give a huge shout out to June over at AMZ 3D filaments for sending over an entire case of filament for us to test and review on the channel at no cost. Thank you very much June, I very much appreciate it. I also want to give a huge shout out to Jimmy Shaw over at Jimmy Shaw's Tidbits for connecting me with AMZ 3D filament. I'm really happy with this filament. It's really great. It has great printability. So thank you, Jimmy. I very much appreciate that. If you guys found this episode interesting and informative, check out those affiliate links down in the description. It'll really help support the channel and it won't cost you a penny. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys again.